beginning. On Earth, our hearts are constantly beating against gravity. But how would our bodies react in space? In the beginning of the Cold War, fruit flies were launched in a V2 rocket. They were the first animals to prepare humankind for space. Microgravity can be disorientating. Fish tend to swim in loops, birds can't tell up from down, but mice adjust quite well. Months prior to Yuri Gagarin becoming the first man in space, another space traveler went before him. It was called number 65. Number 65 was born and captured in French Cameroon. He was brought to the US and was trained to pull levers on a machine called the psychomotor. The task was to pull the levers in the right sequence to see if astronauts were able to perform this during high G-forces and in weightlessness. The psychomotor had three levers with lights above them. Red, white and blue. If the levers were pulled in the wrong sequence, a mild shock of electricity would be felt through a metal plate attached to his soles. Out of 40 chimpanzees, number 65 would soon be chosen to be launched into space. To avoid bad publicity in case the chimpanzee would die, they were giving numbers instead of names. As the space race intensified, the US launched squirrel monkeys and macaques. The Soviet Union sent dogs, frogs, rabbits and tortoises. France sent a cat. perished in exploding rockets, vanished at sea, or died on impact when landing. The dog, Laika, died a few hours after launch due to heat and stress. Her remains would circle the Earth for five months before disintegrating upon re-entry. Only a few would make it back alive.
Survivors received medals at press conferences. A sunny afternoon in 1961, number 65 was ready to be launched. The journey lasted 16 minutes before the capsule plunged into the Atlantic Ocean. Number 65 survived and was given the name Hep. At the following press conference, his bare teeth were widely mistaken for a smile. He would spend the rest of his life in a zoo. On his gravestone, it is written, Ham proved that mankind could live and work in space. Ippity-oppity, ippity-oppity, ippity-oppin' over here, land you. Da-da-da-da. 